Fine. How's your Pepsi? Poppy. So today, I did a presentation in my class that I had a month, about a month and a half to do. Yeah. And I work on my time. I did it in an hour before my class. And I, it was supposed to be a four to six minute speech. I memorized the whole thing. I just used some index cards with some pointers. And I talked for five minutes and ten seconds. And I talked about... Harley Davidson, how it was founded in 1907, and how in 1932, during the World War II, uh, ladies were riding Harley Davidson motorcycles to give messages to the uh, people out in the war, like the soldiers, the camps, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about how it relates to ladies riding today, how it's still a big thing trend not that it was big back then there were only so many and i named off uh dot robinson who was one of the famous messengers and then uh linda like de suga or something it starts with a it starts with a d and it's only two syllables long and i talked about the different types of motorcycles women ride that are harley brands the road king the uh Harley 883 Sportster. I talked about the Street Bob. I talked about the Road Glide. I talked about um, the. I talked about one other, the Sportster like S rider. Mm -hmm. And I talked about the weights of them all and how my bike is 700 pounds, how the Road Glide is 900 pounds, and how the. Road King is about 860 pounds. Oh. And I talked about how uh, when you walk into a Harley dealer, it's a type of atmosphere where you're around what seems like family and friends. Wow. It's just a great place to be together. And you, whenever I see another lady motorcyclist, it just is an automatic friend. Right. And then I also talked about how... Uh, Riding is like a sport. You have to have your, uh, you have to always be on the watch. You have to be doing the, uh, the, um, the, like, the, the defensive driving on the road. You want to get away from groups of cars. You have to move your body, pulling in and clutching and then shifting it's not something simple you get tired of it after a while especially in traffic and i also talked about um how um the most popular harley lady biker groups i talked about the hell's bells the lace and leather and i also talked about like uh it's like Dolly's Devils or something, or like something, it's something like that. I don't remember the exact name. And I talked about how big those groups are. And I talked about how women riding motorcycles may not even be that much talked about, but it's a growing trend and has become even more popular as the years have prevailed. And I also talked about how I ride up in the back roads of Virginia and the Catoctin Mountains. I ride up in the Tennessee Smoky Mountains. I've been to Maggie Valley, North Carolina. I talked about Chucky, Tennessee. I talked about Hot Springs, North Carolina, where the town population is only 600 people. And then I also talked about um, <clears throat> how I did I've done work to my bike. I put on a Vance and Hines straight pipe. I love to clean and wax my bike just to be outside on my own. Um, and I said it's my favorite thing to drive. And I know it's the same for many other women, even though it may not be that much talked about. I also talked about how um, there was one more thing. I, oh, yes. How over the years women have always been strong and independent and even in 1932 during the World War II 
women were still out riding motorcycles in the field and such delivering messages. And it's still prevalent today in the fact that women are independent riding bikes. Really good job. I like it, baby. That's great. I and so you got a great, that. did your teacher give you a good grade on that? Yeah. You got good reviews? Yeah. That's awesome. Great job. Well, hey, there's a daughter sharing her motorcycle love for the woman that should put two legs over a motorcycle and go ride. Right? And who's your favorite brand? Um, Harley Davidson. Wow. Not a word of Indian.